Hello, my name is Evan Wing with HMA Fire, and today I'm going to be talking about how fire behavior has changed over the years and how HMA is helping firefighters across the world adapt to some newer dangers that we as an industry are facing. Now, today's house fires burn eight times faster and produce 200 times the amount of smoke that a fire would have 50 years ago. 30 years ago, a person had up to an estimated eight minutes to exit their home from the time their smoke detector went off. Today, though, a person has less than two minutes to exit that same size room. Now, why? Well, the building materials have changed, and the contents like furniture, appliances, fixtures, etc., those have changed as well. Now, a test by UL, or Underwriters Laboratory, found that an average-sized room furnished with modern products is fully engulfed in flames in as little as three minutes. The same room furnished with items from 50 years ago took 30 minutes to do the same. Now, what can incapacitate a person? Well, not only heat, but more importantly, smoke and gases. But we have to break down the types of smoke that people can be inhaling or getting on their skin, etc. Now, these are even more dangerous than the typical smoke you'd see coming from a campfire or that legacy furniture, or building materials as we'll call it, like hardwoods, more solid pieces of furniture, etc. So think of your patent leather furniture, think of plywood, MDF, which is medium density fiberboard, OSB, which is oriented strand board, which is similar to plywood that uses uh, adhesives and other glues to hold the wood strands together. So what's actually happening in a fire environment is extremely dangerous and results in an increased amount of carbon monoxide and hydrogen cyanide, which are both highly flammable and combustible. So if we look at a few graphs, we can compare the older fires that we've been discussing with the newer ones firefighters are facing today. In the older fire curve, you can see that it takes a bit longer for the fire to fully develop. And why is that? Now, I'm sure there are a lot of other reasons, but the ones we're highlighting today are that homes were not as energy efficient and that there is an inflow of air constantly being introduced to the fire. After all, fire needs oxygen to continue to burn. The older building materials and furniture burned longer because they were more solid and they didn't decay as quickly. Now, fast forward to our modern day fire chart and we can see a few things that are different. First, we already talked about the fires burning hotter. We know that and we know that we have less time. Here though, you can see that the fires are starting to decay or go down much faster than before. The fire is decaying the materials faster and producing more smoke and more of those toxic chemicals that we talked about earlier. Also, the fires aren't getting the same amount of airflow. Now, why is that? Let's see if you were paying attention, okay? Now, the more energy efficient the home, the less outside air is making it into the flow path. Now, fires are extremely hungry and they need air and oxygen to survive. Now, we've seen wind storms created in very extreme situations, like those we see out west in big wildland fires. And now, this is good, right? Fires decaying faster? Not necessarily. In that same chart, we can see that after ventilation, the fire comes back even more aggressive than it did before. Well, this is because while the fire is decaying, there aren't the same levels of heat to ignite that smoke and poisonous gases. The contents aren't burning themselves, but the chemical reaction that happens when materials become superheated, they produce smoke and gases that are igniting. So when that fire is decaying, even though the gases aren't igniting, it's filling or charging that environment with smoke and gases, which is why we see the upswing in that modern fire curve that we're showing. Now, what does this all mean and how am I tying it back to the, to the start of this message? Uh, as mentioned in the other post, we have less time to do our work as firefighters and the environments we're working in are much more dangerous than in the past. Different departments have different response protocols, but the faster that emergency apparatus can arrive on scene and start a coordinated attack, the better. Now, this message is just a snippet of our HMA ultra high pressure demonstration. Now, for the full presentation that includes much more fire talk, contact us today for a demo or a virtual demo. We've been on the road a lot the past few weeks, so we may not be able to be in your area next week, but that doesn't mean we have to wait to start talking about the benefits of HMA's ultra high pressure systems and how our technology could have a place on your department. Visit us at hmafire.com, fill out the contact us form, and as always, if you could, like this video, share it with your audience, and follow HMA on your favorite social media channels. That would be much appreciated. Thanks again, and have a safe day.